It's Mailbag Monday. It's Mailbag Monday. Ho! Oh, Mailbag Monday. Live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Right. Welcome. Ta Tail and Cavus. No, Tail no, Tail's not here. Where's Kale? Nah, he's in Toronto, man. Fuck. Uh, can you swear on Mailbag Monday? I just did. It's our show. We can do whatever we want. We do whatever that no, we don't know. We're just winging it. We're just winging it. Oh, we're just coming down off of a crazy ship rock. Yeah. Ooh, oh, so, whoa! Kind of going like this. Oh man, I am big time. Yeah, yeah. It's been one of those weeks. Yeah. What else can you say? We just wrote a song. We're just hanging out, yeah. working on a new idea. Yeah. So that was kind of fun. And why don't we dive into these questions and just let's dive. See what's going let's on off the deep end. Let's go. I'll just. Uh, what do you got? We picked. A few. I'll get rolling right here. All right, Kathy, Devlin, Griswold. Sounds familiar. Sounds like I've answered a question from Kathy before, maybe. Probably. Who knows? Show us this good question. people every time. So. Kathy, we love you. Okay. She says, uh, I think it's awesome that Urban Street Angels used your song, All I Want Is Everything. Is there a chance that you would team up with them or another organization to promote more awareness of the homelessness problem? Yes. Absolutely. It's, yeah, it's a yes, for sure. We're kind of uh, really into that right now, especially with the success of the, of the video with everything and and just what's already happened and the feedback we got, I think we're really sort of proud of, you know, what people are saying and we, we definitely continue. Yeah, and so far so good with Urban Street Angels. We're new to them and they're new to us and it just seemed like the, you know, the music fit for, for what their uh, documentary was all about just perfectly, seamlessly, you know, like almost, almost freakishly, <laughs> you know, that? close. There's you a Moffat running around here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll continue to work with homeless, uh, um, agencies and, you know, you know, we're always into like helping people through our music. So whenever we can, and it, you know, it's homelessness just is something that has come up, um, even within some of our fans and some of our friends have just recently just reached out with yeah. problems in that area. Exactly. I think a lot of people are living with homelessness, so we kind of give a shit and want to just help out if we can. So. Yeah, I personally think it's something to bring awareness to because it's like everyone's aware of it, but they're not always aware that people are, you know, in that position for other circumstances that aren't out of their control, you know, so they really need, need a hand up in that respect, right? A lot of preconceived notions of homelessness, I think. And, yeah. But, and, and I love the term living with homelessness rather than just homeless people or, you know, like people are living with this uh, situation. So it's kind of cool. Um, to be a musician and have to, the, you know, the medium to kind of help awareness and change and positive flow out there. So yeah, we'll continue to work with tons of people and we'll let you guys know as soon as, as soon as that happens. So it's moving funny. right along. Uh, oh, nice. your keyboard goes differently than mine. It's freaking, yeah. yeah. It's like, um, oh, what motivated you to write the song One Day at a Time? One of my favorites on the record. Yeah. That's one. Such a great day that when we put out the record in December just to have these songs no one's ever heard. I mean, one day at a time, I was just waiting for you guys to hear it because it's one of my favorites. So, um, it's also one of yours. This is, oh, by, this is Michelle Elaine Copeland asking about this. And she says, what kind of things um, were you going through that brought this song up? Well, it's funny. Where were we again? It was me and you driving. Yep. We were uh, driving to go write the song pretty much. And... It was actually... We didn't know what we were going to write about. We weren't sure at, yeah, at the moment, but it was, it was the morning we just had Starbucks and we are just going down the road. And uh, without getting into too much detail, I was kind of upset that day. And well, you were going, going through a breakup. Going through some, yeah, like, or a, a real just, emotional thing and just turmoil. And, and I think we just harnessed that and it was a tough day for both of us. I think there was some... Yeah. Well, you kind of looked at me in the car and said, are you all right? And I was like... Just taking it one minute at a time, I think it's yeah. it. And then now uh, we got to the the place we were going to write, and it you know it sort of evolved into that, and it became one day at a time. Obviously, just a bit, but it was kind of it sort of just grew out of that moment. It, it was so. when we sat down, uh, and Tavis picked up because the acoustic and started playing. That riff just flowed out of you. That whole music idea, yeah. and um, we just followed up really quickly, and those melodies came. Like it was like, yeah. I mean, every song takes. A different amount of time, but that came together in a few hours. Yeah, that was one of those ones which was really, we knew it was special when we had the whole song after three or four hours and it was just done. Sometimes you go back, you rewrite, you cut and paste, and you do something else, but that was just like it was just done. Yeah, yeah. 
And then the lyrics, I just channeled the fuck out of the situation and the room and Tavis's emotional and, and my emotional situation. We, I think we were in during, we were like in a writing mode, so we were just like burnt out too. So you're, yeah. you're at the edge of your person and you're just like, uh, I, I'll never, I, I think I'm proud of different lyrics in different ways, but the, that opening line in that song was just, I'm so proud of that. I was just like, can't deal with the future. I'm so stuck in the past. I can't deal with the present. It never seems to last. That's, yeah. that's just one of my favorite. And then the chorus is being one day at a time. It's kind of positive. It's like an anthem. Like, well, well here we yeah, go. Like, like, yeah, like we're not going to give up on like, each other. We're not going to give up on yeah, ourselves. So. Yeah. 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 It was, we just knew it was good. And we knew as soon as we were done recording it that it was going to touch some of you. So I think that was yeah. pretty important. Um, one more question for Mailbag Monday. Mailbag Monday from Las Vegas. Yes. We're going to work on that one later. This, this, is not, this idea is not finished. This, yeah. is, this is brand it's new. It's one of those ones we're going to have to cut and paste. Although I like how I can, I can picture kicking, kicking girls on that. Mailbag Monday. Rockets. Live from yeah. Las Vegas. Yeah. Do, do, do. Like cakes opening up, people coming up. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the, the Family Guy yeah, opening. Video you know? idea, but not a song. Yet. Stewie. We'll get Stewie in there. Red carpet, <laughs> stairs. <laughs> um, uh, okay, one. okay. How do I use your computer again? Well, you just click that. Yeah, get rid of that. Uh, okay, just scroll. Let's see. Uh, so many great questions here. Um, my hair, I'm not going to answer that. Uh, favorite Kenny Rogers song from Autumn Johnson. I'm just going to throw out the entire um, uh, Gambler era record. Oh my god, that's just every song on that. Coward of County, Wonderwall, Gambler. My favorite song. Uh, Oasis. Yeah. yeah. That's your favorite song? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Oh, yes. I did a cover once in my house with um, Jenny Galt, who was, was a that, former was leprechaun again coming by. Was a former uh, was a former singer from Vancouver, moved to Poland, and now she's um, she's in Poland. But uh, we did a cover of a song called Dreamer by Kenny Rogers and Kim Carnes originally sang it. Um, just absolutely beautiful. That so that's one of my favorite songs of Kenny's too. I'm not sure if Kenny must have written it, I think. I don't know. I really don't know. But he's he's like my he's like my country Frank Sinatra, you know? He's just my boy. Um, Where was that one? We, we had one now. You yeah. scrolled the wrong way. So. I, I, that's because your keyboard's upside down. Does anyone have a friend with a keyboard that goes a different direction than theirs? Like, it's just fucking... It's a mind... mind fuck. Like, what's... There's an easy one. When will we be oh. back to Lubbock? Tony... From Jamie. Tony... Jamie... Always back question to Lubbock. The question is... Yeah. Sometimes. Texas is one of our favorite places yeah. to tour, and in Lubbock, we're always in Lubbock. Yeah. Uh, we love it. We love it. We love Lubbock. We love Lubbock. <laughs> That's horrible. We love it. Let's just keep answering a few of these because some a lots of people like Jerry Pascoe. Pa I was Jerry. I'm sorry, I screwed up how to say your Pachelle? name. Yeah, Pascal. Yeah, right. Here today, Pascal. We still Jerry then. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry. That's easy. It was rigged. It was Jerry rigged. Jerry. <laughs> um. So. Every, everyone keeps asking about the hard copy. When's the hard copy of yours? We don't know, but the best thing you can do is go to 11.7 Music, Better Noise Records. There's more traffic on 11.7, so I would go to 11.7 myself and just demand, demand, mm -hmm. demand, hard copy, hard copy, hard copy, because um, we want it just as much as you, and I think the more noise that we make as diehards and fans of music and albums, uh, we'll get it out there. And we want to release it on vinyl too. So while you're That's there, next, just say, yeah. and while you're at it, get out some plastic and melt it. Yeah. I guess CDs are melted plastic too. So. What kind of plastic? Not rubber? vinyl. Rubber? Rubber tree? Mm -hmm. well, there was one more we were actually going to, we're just, this is going to be epic. Is, we're just going to do all the other ones while we look for the one. We oh, Jacqueline Crank. Did you say that's Crank? Crank. She says, miss my boys, and we say, we miss you. Thank you. <laughs> That's not even a question. <laughs> That's not a question? It's a complete redo, actually. Um, uh, I have a question for the entire band. What is it like playing with Disturbed in that crazy ska metal core band in house? Oh, Skindred. Oh, Skindred? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. those guys are great. Oh, yeah. yeah. I could great. watch them every night. I think we've answered... A lot of questions here. Oh, have you ever sang O Canada at a sporting event? The answer, who's asking that? Um, yeah. Have we? Uh, Trisha Lindsay. We have not sang O Canada, but we uh, have sang the Star Spangled Banner. 
um, at the NASCAR uh, yeah, yeah, big, uh, Chicago, Chicago Land. So anyway, yeah. it's pretty funny, but a bunch of Canadians singing the American National Anthem. But we, we nailed it. You can go on YouTube and just search Art of Dying National Anthem because they don't know we have one probably. They probably just, we do five more anthems, but they're unreleased. So. What I want to do is the Australian National Anthem. I want to do uh, Waltzing Matilda. <laughs> Waltzing Matilda, Waltzing Matilda. I'm not crazy about it. Will you come waltzing Matilda? It's a good drinking me? song. Oh, <laughs> let's go to Oz. I still don't get it. Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing. Oh, who's Matilda? She's a dancer. Yeah, of course. And you've been drinking beer while you know you're waltzing with her, and you've got your Fosters, and you're well, just it sounds, giving it sounds like it's a good She's a kangaroo. Oh, wow. Blew my mind. <laughs> Never box a kangaroo. All yeah. right. Mailbag Monday, live from Las Vegas. We're out of here. All right, and signing off. Yeah, see you uh, soon.